down there and there. Yeah, no. that's it. Oh wait. Wait, that's not down, is it? Yeah. No, that's not that's not down. That goes up. Hang on, hang on let me show you something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. It went up. How did it get down here so quick? <laughs> no, ooh. <laughs> I jabbed at the door. Okay. So we're about downstairs, do you think? Yeah. Right, in here then. I think that was actually the same lift. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, it's the same lift. It was just telling you to go down to that lift to go up. How weird. Ooh, it's the world. Ah, the of, outside world. Yeah. It's about the only time we're ever going to see it. I'm telling you, Hugh, you may not have put the gun in Sanders' hand, but it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Always with a smile. Some cool guy going on there. No, I don't. I think we'll talk later. Who? That one. Oh, David. There was some, um... There was like a, yeah, oh, what's the me? word, it was kind of like a... Yeah, how are you feeling? A non-real person. Well, when we're like done a horror here, man. check him at Dr. Mark at the Lynn Clinic downtown. And he was speaking to, to get I don't know how that works. Ben says, listen, about Sanders? Yeah, about Sanders. What the hell were you thinking? Letting him slip away like that? I said she needed to take care of things. I think um, you can either go one way about it, um, saving, well, three ways about it. You can save the hostage um, and let Zeke go. You can um, uh, kill the hostage and let Zeke go, which is the bad way of doing it. And then you can um, kill the hostage and um, kill Zeke, which is, like, probably one of the better ones because your main thing was to... Um, get Zeke to surrender or kill Zeke. Right, which one should we go for? Um, probably the gamble one, I reckon. I'm hoping he'll pay off for us later. Sanders was furious when he found out his hacker was augmented. He's not going to rest until he finds out who set him up. Oh, and you're naive enough to think he'll share the information when he gets it. I thought you were ready for this, Adam. I am. Today's attack was just a shell game being run by somebody else. I intend to find out who and why so that it never happens to anybody again. Good, because so do I. That hacker in Sanders' group, you're sure he was augmented? I pulled his cables out myself. Yeah, well, the police are saying he's not, and they're refusing to let me see the body, no matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. Um... I guess that one. Maybe someone else is offering more. So what do you want me to do, boss? We have to get a look at the corpse. You still got friends on the force. You think, uh... You think one of them will let you into the morgue? Depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. You got it. <laughs> no, I can't jump out the window. Or burn yourself. No. same person from last time. 
Yeah. Before the attack. She survived them. Oh, what's in there? That will back my toilet. That's what does it mean by whatever that says? For, for Jen? What's it? What does that what mean? It? I don't know. No. Look, it's like the future mirrors that got like um how to look good in <laughs> in the mirrors and stuff. Oh. You've got to report to your office now, apparently. Someone's probably blown it up or something. <laughs> Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. My, where's my office? Is it upstairs? Yeah, it's upstairs on the next level. Okay, I'm trying to find some stairs. Adam Jensen, please report to your office. Yeah, okay. Adam Jensen. I love that. It's like, Adam Jensen, please report to your office. Adam Jensen. <laughs> You've just gone like the really, really long way around. Yeah, you like yeah. came up oh, there yeah. and then you just gone all the way right. around. Man, what am I doing here? Oh my god. He's talking to you. Oh, him. <laughs> hey, Jensen. Man, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're back. How are you holding up? I manage. I'm sorry about Megan. I know it must be hard. For a while we thought you were a goner too. Everything's going to shit. The attack on HQ, and now this mess with the factory. Yeah, tough times all around. How about you, Corella? You okay? I don't know. I... Uh, I fucked up. I mean bad. What happened? Well, a couple of months ago, me and Tyndall, you know, one of Pritchard's texts, we started sneaking out some neuropazine from one of the labs. Jesus, Tim. You realize this could get you fired, worse, arrested, if the company chooses to prosecute. What were you thinking? I know. It's just... it's complicated. I didn't want to do it at first, but there were good reasons. Anyway, now I want out, but Tyndall has security footage of me stealing the stuff and says he'll expose me if I ever stop helping him. I'm in a bad spot, Adam. I need that footage back. I know you're busy with everything that's going on right now, but I could really use your help. Accept it. It's good to have side quests and stuff. All right. Tell me more. Really? Wow. Thanks, Adam. I thought I was done for. The security footage will probably be on his apartment computer. I got it from here. sure he can't get back out. <laughs> it's gone around the long way again, haven't I? Yeah. yeah. Right, where do I need to go? Out there. Is there a lift or something? No, if you just go down the stairs, you just need to get out. Yeah, there you go. the next part. This is taking quite a while.
Mrs. Reed. Oh, Adam, I'm sorry you startled me. And please, call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. This is where you work, but to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. I know what you mean. It's never been the same for me either. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems there's just no right way to deal with something like this. And I can't even begin to imagine how things have been for you after all you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? Um, they did what they had yeah. to do to save me. It really matter, to be honest. Yeah. And in a way, I can do so more now than I ever quiet, could. So I'm glad to know you take it so well. Many of us wouldn't be able to cope so easily with such traumatic changes. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Yeah, get to the point. <laughs> I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her. Or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put... I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. And now you want to find out more? I can see why she loved you. I never got a chance to... Thank you. This means the world. Yeah, I think you can skip something. The first thing I'll need to do is meet with this detective, Chase. Good. Why does a detective need to work part time? <laughs> if you were to do all of this, it would take forever. Yeah. So pretty much, he just wants um, you to find out what happened more, what happened to like the starting bit. So yeah. Right. So yeah. I haven't really had this yet. Can't I, I can't even remember how many episodes this has been. Um. This is the ninth, eighth or ninth, I think. Yeah. But it's the rest is coming up next time, so you don't need to take the.